Hey everyone, today's look is on this dark brown smoky eye. There's two versions, a matte one and a glam sort of wet look one, both very easy to achieve. If you want to know how I created both these eye looks, then please keep on watching. I previously cleansed my skin and just going in with a toner. This one smells like cucumber and it's just so refreshing on the skin. My under eye bags are on fleek today, so I'm just going to use a calming roll on treatment for puffy eyes. I'm a little skeptical about these things for me because the only way to get rid of my eye bags is with sleep and drinking lots of water. But hopefully throughout this video there's a noticeable difference. This MAC Moisture Infusion saved my life when I was on holidays. I'm super oily in hot weather and my skin tends to get really dry in cold weather. I'm using the NYX Angel Veil Primer to prep my skin. This is a great duplicate for the Hourglass Mineral Veil. I never used to like this concealer, only up until recently when I've been applying concealer first with a damp beauty blender. I think because I was applying it on top of my foundation with a brush, it was just looking really cakey on the skin. Now you can see it looks flawless. I love starting the contour process off with a cream foundation. This one in particular from Becca is blendable and a great shade for creating shadows while still keeping the warmth of the face. I apply it to the hairline, around my forehead and under my cheekbones and I blend it out with a damp beauty blender. I'm going back to one of my favourite foundations, EX1, and I'm using today the shade F300 because I'm a little tanned. Usually I'll mix F300 and F200 to create my perfect shade. I'm so excited to use the newly released Zoeva brushes. Don't they look so pretty? To set my under eye, I'm using the Lux Face Focus brush which is number 114 with the Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer. This brush is the perfect shape to fit right into the corner of the eye. See how the right side looks so much more lifted and brighter than the left. So I do my under eyes, the bridge of my nose and the middle of my forehead, just setting those areas with the same powder. I use a bronzer just to start off setting the contoured areas and the reason I do this is so it can act as a transition shade so we don't just go straight in with a dark shade. To contour I use the face paint brush in Vegan 109 and taking the darker shade just focusing it right on the bottom edge of where we applied the bronzer and blending it up. This creates an ombre effect. Then I'll just go back in with an angled brush and blend it all out. At the moment, my luggage is still in between here and LA, so all my usual brushes are still on their way home, which is good because it forces me to use the other brushes and products I wouldn't usually touch. So I'm using an angled brush to fill in my brows today, along with the So Susan Jewel Brow Powder. I don't have my MAC paint pot here today either, so I'm going to try this NYX eyeshadow base. It's a great colour and really covers the eye well. However, it's super sticky, so I was worried the shadows wouldn't blend out well. I just applied a shadow very similar to the base colour, just to help it blend properly. Shout out to all my Aussie babes who know what this is. Best thing to keep the lips moisturised in my opinion. I'm taking this light neutral brown in my upper crease. I wouldn't say it's shimmery but it does have a sheen to it and I'm just blending that out and upwards. Then I take this much darker brown and just placing it in the lower crease and blending it out also. I'm not worried too much if it gets on the lid as we are applying a darker eyeshadow there later. Next I take this Colourpop shadow called Mittens and this Zoeva classic shader brush and just pat the colour onto the lid. These shadows are so freaking amazing. They are creamy but not a cream. They are really soft to touch and blend out seamlessly. I am so in love. I want every colour. Once I've packed the colour on all over the lid, I just blend out the edges with a fluffy brush. 
being a very creamy consistency, I am so impressed with how easy these are to blend out. For the lower lash line, I go back into that first brown we used and just a pencil brush just to smoke it out. Then with that same mittens colour and this really cool Zoeva brush called Spotliner 310, I place that colour right on the lash line. Look how the right side has so much more depth to it. I line the waterline with black just to make the smokiness even more pronounced. For blush, I'm using So Susan Cashmere in Syrup Shimmer. Let me tell you, it really is like cashmere, so velvety and pigmented. I got this Elizabeth Mott Mascara in the December Bella box and I've heard some really great things about this mascara. So I just curl my lashes as usual and apply it to my top and bottom lashes. For my top lashes, I use Velour Wing Woman. Surprise, surprise, I have so much to say about Velour. I love their lashes and the quality. For my bottom lashes, I saw this huge pack of lashes at this random beauty store in the city, Sydney city that is, and I thought I'd give them a try. I also make sure they dry sticking out rather than flat to my face as they look much more natural that way. For highlight, MAC Soft and Gentle Standard with the Zoeva Luxe Fan. I am now a convert and so obsessed with this brush. It applies the product so that it just doesn't just sit on your skin, but it's melted into the skin. So with highlighters, it makes them look like your skin is really glowing from within rather than just shimmery. For lips, I'm also obsessing over these lip liners and lippy sticks from ColourPop Cosmetics. Each lippy stick has its matching lip liner, but they aren't exactly the same colour, but they are the same name. So for this look, I'm using Skimpy. The lip liner is very similar to my natural lip colour, and the lippy stick is a light nude. You can leave the look here if you want the matte look. Or if you want the wet look, I use Colourpop So Quiche and just my finger to pop it on the lid and blend it out with a fluffy brush. What do you prefer, the matte look or the wet look? Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments which look you would rock.